Doctor Strange 2 has broken Fandango's 2022 pre-sale record because people are hyped for this movie. Hey everybody, I am Robert Storms. Welcome back to the channel once again. If you guys are finding me for the very first time, please do me a massive favor. Smash that thumbs up and subscribe button. That way you guys can stay up to date on all future content here on the channel. So it looks like Doctor Strange 2 has officially broken Fandango's 2022 pre-sale record, showing that people are excited for the Multiverse of Madness, directed by none other than Sam Raimi. You guys know him from the Spider-Man trilogy with Tony McGuire. Fandango goes to say that not even the Batman has sold this many tickets on his first day. This is an indicator that Marvel's Doctor Strange is a very, very much a highly anticipated movie, like we all are already figured we are all sitting here and just waiting for dr strange 2 this is something that we've been waiting for ever since it was announced when we knew it was kind of going to be brought into the multiverse and we were going to get to see the different iterations of all this stuff going around this was stuff that we already knew was kind of happening so this just kind of indicates that yeah us fans we have been really really excited to see this movie for a very, very, very long time. And it just shows by the ticket sales. And the thing comparing it to the Batman, I think that's kind of unfair if I'm going to play devil's advocate there for a second. Because with the Batman, this was a new character playing Batman, a new actor playing Batman, a new story of Batman, right? We just got off of what people really enjoyed with Ben Affleck's Batman. So it was a, a like, it was like when you're rebuilding a team. Right, you're in rebuild mode. The Batman was a rebuild mode for for DC. It was like they they went in a different direction. Matt Reeves, Robert Pattinson. So of course the the sales records for Multiverse of Madness, which is already an established franchise with established actors playing these characters, when we're coming off of the events of Endgame and entering you know Phase Four, and not only that, but with the success of Spider-Man: No Way Home, and with Doctor Strange being featured in that, we knew that WandaVision, Spider-Man: No Way Home, and Doctor Strange would be tightly connected, right? That they would tightly events that would happen in each of those would be connected so fans like that connectivity we are able to go and we're able to, to piece things together and know that we have been you know rewarded for our times and effort of seeing those those shows or movies or whatnot whereas when you look at dc and this is not a shot at dc because i really enjoyed the batman but when you're comparing the pre-sale records for dr strange compared to the batman it just makes sense that yeah dr strange is gonna do better because one Doctor Strange 1 was really good, Endgame was fantastic, and then we're getting off the events of WandaVision, Spider-Man No Way Home, where we're entering the multiverse, of course it's going to sell more. It's an already established IP, whereas Batman is an established IP, but you're hitting the reset button and casting all new actors in an all new world, and you're getting away from the Snyderverse, when people really enjoyed the Snyderverse, really enjoyed Ben Affleck, so it's a no-brainer that Doctor Strange is going to sell more than the Batman. That's a no-brainer. And then there was actually a lot of mixed reviews coming from the Batman. I know a couple of people personally that's like, Batman is just boring. It baffles my mind because I love the movie, but people really, there's some backlash on the Batman. So yeah, when you put all that in account, no wonder Doctor Strange came out with awesome pre-sale records. This movie is going to probably be like one of the highest grossing movies of 2022 the only movie i can really see kind of top in this thing is probably avatar at this point because i believe that spider-man came out last year even though um no spider-man came out when did spider-man does anybody know when the fuck spider-man came out spider-man came out this year right yeah spider-man came out this year so it's gonna be spider-man Doctor Strange, Avatar, like all that's going to be battling in there at some point, right? All that's going to be battling in there at some point. Those are going to be your top three movies of 2022, and I, I you can put that money to the bank. Like those, like, like Spider-Man: No Way Home, Avatar 2, Doctor Strange. Like I don't know which order they're going to fall in. Those are going to be your three highest grossing films of 2022. I, I'm pretty sure on that one. But that's all I got for you guys. Before I go, I want to do a shameless plug. Jump over there to my Robert. Storm 
Storm's gaming channel. I do everything on movie news, reviews, live streams, everything I do here on the channel, I do over on that channel, but game related. So if you guys like my reactions on my news and my trailers and all that stuff, jump over to the gaming channel. I'm uploading a video on the Max Payne 1 and 2 remake as we speak. So go check it out. I will have the link in the description box below. So click it and click the pin comment for more links. Anyway, guys, that's all I got. I want to know what you guys think about Doctor Strange 2 breaking pre-sale records for 2022. Are you excited to see it? Leave the comments in the comment box below. Until next time, as always, I'm Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.